Hi everyone, Laravel 11 has essentially a new file called app.php in the bootstrap directory. And this is a very important file for the development of applications from the version 11 onwards. This file basically group all the configuration that was scattered all over the place in the app directory in files like kernel.php that no longer exists and the route service provider that doesn't exist either. This is how this file look in a new Laravel installation. It's very clean, actually. But I have been playing a little bit with Laravel 11, creating some examples. And this is how it might look after a little bit of work. I have added a new custom route file called admin.php, where I have declared a simple root called dashboard. And this root returns this text. OK, this is an example root, of course. And back to app.php, I have a custom middleware called admin. This is a middleware that will simulate checking if the user is an admin. In a real application, we will have something like request user and then call a method like is admin that will return true if the user is admin. Otherwise, it will return false. Here, I have a simple example, a fake example where we just check if the admin query parameter exists, and if the value is one, then we assume the user is admin. Otherwise, we throw this section. You shall not pass a section. This is a simple blank section, but I have customized the way that we are going to render that section back to our app.php file. As you can see here, if this section is thrown, Laravel is going to return this view. And back to the browser, this view returns or shows a simple GIF, as you can see here. And if we alter the URL and we pass the admin equals one, we can see the text admin dashboard. So this is working perfectly fine. But I was thinking that if we are working in a very big Laravel application with multiple developers committing to this file, and we have tens of different middleware, sections, route files, etc. This file might become difficult to maintain. For example, it might cause many git conflicts, that sort of thing, if we are trying to merge multiple pull requests, etc., etc. For that, how can we simplify it? Well, I basically came up with this simple solution, I think. We are going to cut these callback functions, like the one that we need to configure the routes. We are going to cut and we are going to add a new file in our bootstrap directory called routes.php. From here, we are going to return our callback function in this way. Don't forget to import the classes that you need to import. For example, illuminate routing router. And back to app.php, we can actually include this file routes.php in this way. Because we are going to return the function from the file, this function is going to be passed. And this is going to work like before. Let me show you. We can reload the page and we can remove the query parameter and we can see this is working like before. So all we need to do is go back to app.php and do exactly the same thing for middleware. We are going to create a new file called middleware.php. We are going to return our function. Again, let's not forget to import the relevant classes. In this case, we need to import Illuminate Foundation Configuration Middleware. We can also import our custom middleware and back to app.php. Once again, we are going to include middleware.php. We go back to the browser. This is working like before. And finally, let's cut the configuration for the sections. Let's create a new file called sections.php in the bootstrap directory. Once again, let's return the callback. And from here, let's not forget to finish the line with a semicolon, as well as importing the relevant classes that I was using before. And we can also import our custom section. Why not? Back to app.php. Once again, let's include this new file, sections.php. Let's format this a little bit. We can, for example, remove the imports that we don't need, etc. And I think we are done. If we go back to the browser, we should be able to see the same result that we had before. And back to our editor, we can see the final result. Our app.php looks very clean. 
and we have the configuration in different PHP files. They are simple PHP files that return a callback function, and we have basically split the configuration of the routes, middleware, and sections, but now they are all in the bootstrap directory, so they are very close to the place where we are actually including these files. I don't know, I like this result. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. But I must say that for a simple Laravel application, I will leave everything on the app.php file. But if you are working on a big project, I hope this tip is useful to you.